All right, so just coming back out to the garage. Have somebody to come pick up the rear end today. And then he's going to take all the front uh, suspension I took off also. So, control arms, the spindles. I'm not sure if he's taking the springs or not. But, um, yeah, he's coming to get all that. I believe he's a dirt track or circle track racer. I think he has a Monte Carlo also. So if he does, I'll see if he needs that old fender. Um, I'll just throw that in. I think that's all the spare parts I have laying around that I took off the car that aren't going back on. But anyway, move the Camaro out of the way. Probably pull the Elko out. Move all this stuff. So that way when he gets here, I don't know if he's in a truck or what, but when he gets here, you just pull up, make it a lot easier to load up the rear end. But um, other than that, you get a couple cold starts on the Camaro and the Elko. And then I'll go back to uh, prepping these parts for paint. So got them cleaned up for the most part. Of course, there's a lot of surface rust on there, so just cleaning up all the stuff, all the big chunks that are going to flake off, and all the dirt. I'll uh, sand them down one more time, wipe them down, and then once it warms up a little bit, I'll start spraying. I also need to do the core support and the bump reinforcements to get the frame all painted up. So that's looking pretty good. Front uh, suspension. I'll be throwing on probably later this week. Still waiting on some parts. So, uh, well, waiting on parts, but I could throw them on. Only thing I'm really waiting for is the weather to warm up just a little bit more. And then I have to clean up some parts and paint them. So, really, the only thing stopping me from putting the front suspension on are the spindles. I'll clean those up and paint them. So once I do those, um, I'll probably start on the front suspension, but I do have the adapters coming in for the uh, blazer spindles to the C5 and C6 uh, calipers. So I'm waiting on those to come in. So when I do throw all the suspension on, I'm able to throw the brakes on also. I did order the rotors. Once all those come in, I'll uh, put the part numbers in from what I was told will work and what other people have used. So that's pretty much all I'm waiting for. Clean these up, waiting for other parts. But um, while I'm cleaning those up and painting them, I'll clean up the bumper shocks, that uh, heat shield from the passenger side, windshield wipers. I guess these were the exhaust hangers, I think. And I'll uh, do the brake, oh, yeah, the brake pedal and the hood hinges. So, just uh, probably hit those with some sandpaper. And then the same uh, rust reformer, primer, then paint, or the enamel. But that's all I'll be doing today. Just cleaning them up. Oh, yeah. Uh, hit the core support. And the bumpers also today so clean them up today it looks nice out but the temperature is not quite there to paint so hopefully uh it'd be nice enough tomorrow before i have to leave for work and i'll be able to get some paint on them as far as the steering links and everything i'm still leaning towards Going with the power steering box, so I'm not gonna mess with any of that stuff yet. All right, try to record it earlier. No, so I was in slow mo instead of regular video. But I um, apologize if the camera picks up the noise from down the street, but 
I was painting these yesterday on the ground and then I realized I need to get them up off the ground so I bought a, broke out the saw horses and some uh one by fours and just uh, decided to hang everything up with zip ties some of the larger pieces like the uh, spindles doubled them up but that's just one coat or I'd say about one and a half uh, coats with the rust reformer I was able to get most of the areas or I was able to get all the areas uh, but most of the parts like the bumpers and then that um, heat shield didn't need it those will get the primer and just the enamel these parts about 90% of them you won't even see once they're on the car but I wanted to paint them anyway so looking good so far with just the rust reformer on there but once the enamel gets on there you'll get that semi gloss finish so it'll look real good but I'm gonna let these dry for about I think three or four hours and I'll come out and put the primer and the epoxy on them all right so it's a good four hour nap all right so while this should be dry come back now with the primer hit it with a few coats of primer then we'll move on to paint As far as the bumper, I'll just do the insides. Then, um, pretty much do the back side. And then once it dries, I'll flip that over. And then I'll probably just use all the brush on stuff I have and do the top. So, goes the finished product. Hit it with the enamel. I did run a little low because that can didn't want to spray right. So, had to grab another can. All this is uh, semi gloss black. I did have to grab a can I had laying around that was satin black. Do the inside of the bumpers. But, like I said, you'll never see about 90% of these parts so I'm not too worried about it um, once all this dries probably tomorrow I'll finish the top side of the core support and the bumpers I'll probably brush all those on because I don't feel like going to go get another can of aerosol so all those will be brushed on How it's turning out. The reason I went ahead and did this was because I want to throw the front suspension on. And to do that, I needed the spindles. So got the spindles all painted. I did tape off where the hub goes. So that shouldn't affect anything. But yeah, so the spindles and the caliper brackets also. So Got all those painted, so I should be able to start putting on the front suspension. For now, just painting those parts nobody will see. It's the little things. I said the only two parts you might see once these are on the car are the caliper brackets and maybe the spindles. Everything else is going to be hidden. Well, the top of the core support, you'll be able to see that. But other than that, just 
pretty much touching every nut and bolt on the thing freshen up all the parts um, all the bolts I will try to clean up the nuts and bolts try to clean those up put them in the tumbler for a little bit see how they go if not I really don't want to buy all new hardware but throw the old stuff on and paint on top of it I don't know but yeah that's the plan I'm gonna call it a day and watch paint dry um, but yeah next video probably be putting the front suspension on so yeah not too excited just waiting for the rotors to come in they're supposed to be here today but obviously they didn't show up yet but just getting all the little pieces once I do put the suspension on we'll have to paint the calipers Those will probably go red, but I'm not in a rush for those. I was just about to call it a day. Camera's almost dead, but both of them had showed up. So, with the power stop, uh, they were recommended by Ernesto. He's the one that sold me the caliper, so these are C5 pads that people use for the swaps with their blazer spindles. Heard they work, so that's what I went with. Those things are pretty big. You got some size to them. But um they are drilled and slotted. So I need to find out what the rears are so I can get uh, drilled and slotted rear rotors also. But just came in. Yeah, you got some weight to them and this is cute. <laughs> but that's it. I'm calling it a day now.